There's an old football axiom that I borrowed from a, a, a terrific coach. We're going to get 2% better every day. Um, you can, I was an offensive lineman, so I think like a lineman. A lineman's not going to improve 20% in a day. A lineman might improve 1% or 2% because of footwork and just getting enough repetitions of doing the right things and getting your hands up and moving, staying in front of the rusher, things like that. So we applied that principle to everything we did, and we have a sign up on our, on our uh, locker room wall, let's get 2% better today at something. So we have worked that way, and I think most days we've probably done that, and then there have been some days when we went backward. Uh, some of the guys that we're counting on, Christo Bilokiti is our defensive captain. He's a big defensive end, 6'4", 285 pounds, uh, a junior college transfer from Eastern Arizona, but he grew up in Canada. He, he's very sophisticated, he's very bright, and he plays extremely hard. He learned how to do that a year ago, so I think uh, that Christo will be our leader on the defensive side of the ball. On offense, our left tackle, Clyde Yandel is a big, he's another six, seven guy, 290 pounds, with good athletic ability and tremendous intelligence. Our center, Ben Jacoby, is a special player, we believe. We think our offensive line should be one of our strong suits this year. So those are some of the guys that uh, we expect to play well this year. We study the CAA a good bit. Uh, obviously, the most of our film study has to go on opponents that we're going to play this year. And the only one that CAA is, is ODU. And they're in their first year. We sure learned a lesson from them last year because they hammered us at their place. And uh, frankly, uh, we thought they would be good. We didn't think they would be that good. We learned a valuable lesson as I pick up the ratings and I see that ODU's picked 10th in the league this year. Wow. So we're joining a really, really tough football league. Obviously, everybody knows a great academic league, but also the best FCS football league in the, in the country. And uh, it's going to be a tall order for us to get competitive, but we're going to work at it.